In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sales funnel with LearnDash. To create our sales funnel, we're going to be using two main components, LearnDash and the Upsell plugin. So first, I want to show you what the website visitor, what your potential customer will see going through the sales funnel. So here's a quick sales funnel, the sales page that I imported, I created using Thrive Architect, a front end page builder. I'm going to go ahead and click enroll now. And it's going to take us to our checkout page. Again, just a quick checkout page I threw together with uh, Thrive Architect. I'm going to enter in our billing details. Now, because this product is linked with a Learn Dash course, as you'll see in the back end in a second, it's going to ask you to create a username and password. I'm going to enter in our billing details, which is captured through Stripe. And with the upsell plugin, you have the ability to offer an order bump. So I have an order bump in place here. I'm going to go ahead and check it off. Yes, I want to add this to the order and click Submit Payment. Now it's going to take us to our upsell that we have in place through the upsell plugin. So again, another just a quick page I threw together. And you have the options to say, yes, I want to add this to my order. Or you can say, no thanks, I want to skip this purchase. So we're going to add this to our order. And that's going to complete our sales funnel. Um, a side note with the upsell plugin, you have the ability to have as many upsells and downsells as you'd like. This, for this demo purpose, I just had a really basic sales funnel, uh, sales page, upsell, downsell, and that was it. So as you can see here, we purchased the upsell, we purchased the main course, and we also purchased the order bump, which is an ebook, which we actually had as a digital download, which you can click on, and as you can see right here, it'll download the product for you. So now let me show you what happens in the back end and how it's integrated with Learn Dash. So here I am inside of the WordPress dashboard. As you can see, we have Learn Dash installed, and we also have the Upsell plugin installed. So with Learn Dash, I went ahead and I created a few courses. So we have the main course, the Upsell course, the Downsell course, and the Order Bump course. So now if I go to our Upsell plugin, you go to Products. You'll see I already have our products created. If you needed to add a new one, you would just click Add New. But I have a course, an upsell, a downsell, and an ebook. So our course was our main product. So let me go into that one. And as you'll see, there's an Integrations tab. So when you go to that Integrations tab, you'll simply check off Enable Learn Dash, and then it'll give you the different courses that you have created that you would like them to be added to. So you're saying, hey, I want to add them to which course, the main course, when they purchased this product, the course, which was our main product. You would update it and it would add that would be saved. It would add them to this to the course that you choose, the main course, every time they purchase this product. So if we go to our users to look at the test user that we just created a purchase with, here they are. If we go to view what courses they're assigned to, you'll now see out of the four courses we had created in that test purchase we purchased the main course, we purchased the main product, we purchased the order bump, and we also purchased the upsell. So as you can see they're assigned to those three courses, the only one they're not assigned to is the downsell course. So every single time you can assign a product to a specific course and they would be added to that course on a per product level. Now in your sales funnel you don't even have to necessarily include a course. So let's say that ebook I was showing that order bump as for demo purposes, but if that order bump, if that if that ebook didn't have a course uh, linked with it, you don't have to have a course every single time. They could purchase that ebook and not be assigned a course. Just simply purchase the ebook from you as an additional um, sale that you can make to generate more sales on your website. So let me just show you real quickly the downsell course. So let's go back to our new one. So I'm, I'm going to show you what happens if they're going to purchase the downsell now. So another cool thing with the, the plugin is, and I'll show you if you want to stick around for the end after I show you exactly how it integrated with Learn Dash, as you pretty much just saw, I'll show you how it's really simple to actually create your sales funnel using the upsell plugin. But another neat capability that the upsell plugin offers is you can sell a customer any part of your sales funnel and they don't have to necessarily start from the beginning. So if we go to the downsell, for example, and we click on the upsells tab. Here's our purchase URL that you would embed inside of your link or your 
bought in or whatever you're using to sell it and you can also have it placed in an email or anywhere you would like on the web because what would happen is now if we type that URL if we enter that URL into our browser even though that's our downsell it takes us to the it's going to take us directly to the che checkout page for the downsell it's not going to you know give us an error or take us to the sales page it's going to take us to actually the page to purchase that downsell so I'm going to go ahead and fill in the details again so this time I'm going to say as you can see there's a checkbox here it's going to say I already have an account with this email address I'm going to check that off I'm going to enter in the billing details again I'm going to hit submit payment and that's it so we just purchased our down sell so if I go back to that user now and I go into their account now before we only purchased the three products so we were only assigned to the three courses now we just purchased the downsell product so we're added to the downsell course so now this this user is assigned to all the courses so again every single one of your products can be linked to a specific course inside of your learn dash platform and depending on what product your website visitor your customer purchases those are the courses that they can be added to inside of learn dash so that's how you can create a sales funnel using learn dash and the upsell plugin so if you're interested and you want to stick around for a couple more minutes to see how easy and simple it is to actually create your sales funnel using the upsell plugin I'm going to show that to you right now so here's a sales page that I quickly imported from Thrive Architect they actually give you this template that you can import and edit where needed um, so I'm going to click enroll now and that will take us to our checkout page I'm going to enter in our details real quick using a Stripe demo card for the billing details and then one of the nice functions that you have with the upsell plugin is you have the ability to offer an order bump so here we have an order bump in place for an ebook which would cost an additional nine dollars so we're gonna check that off so we want to add that to our purchase and click submit payment next it takes us to our upsell that we have in place this is again a page that I quickly imported using Thrive Architect so at the bottom here we have the option to add this to our order for $199 or we don't want to add this to our order we want to skip it I'm gonna add it to my order and that's gonna complete our sales funnel so you have the original course that you purchased you have the ebook that we added as the order bump which is a digital download so you can actually click ebook and it will download the ebook for you and then we have the upsell that we purchased so I'm going to show you real quick what would happen if we decided to say no thank you to that upsell and what would happen in our sales funnel. So here we are again at that course, the sales page. So click enroll now. It takes us to the checkout page again. Let me enter the details again. Throw in the credit card information. And this time I'm going to say no thanks to the ebook. I'm not going to choose the order bump. Click submit payment and it takes us to the upsell page that we have in place. But this time I'm going to say no thanks. We don't want to add this upsell to our order. So what happens is it now will take us to the downsell that we put in place where we have the ability to purchase a additional product for $49. So again you have the option to add this to the order or you have the option to say no thank you. You can pass on this order. I'm going to add it to their order and that will end the sales funnel now and as you can see we had the original course for ninety seven dollars and we added the downsell for forty nine dollars so you with the upsell plugin you have the ability for your sales funnel to have as many upsells and downsells that you want in place it's the possibilities are endless um, but I wanted to quickly show you how the functionality for the sales funnel worked from a visitors point of view from your customers point of view so now I'm going to show you in the back end WordPress dashboard how you would set all this up using Thrive Architect and using the upsell plugin.
So here we are inside of our WordPress dashboard. So I'm um, on the pages. So what I did first and what I would suggest is you create all of your pages first using Thrive Arch Architect. So we had our course page, we have our upsell page, and we have our downsell page. You're also going to have an orders page, which is can be called anything you want, but this is kind of like the order summary page where the person would land after they purchased after they're completed their funnel. And then you're going to also have your checkout page. So to start, I'm going to work with the course page, our main sales page. I'm going to edit that with Thrive Architect. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to create your products inside of the upsell plugin. So I already have the products created, but whenever you want to add a new product, you would simply click Add New. So to start, I'm going to go into our course product, which is our main product. You're going to enter in a price. You're going to choose what type of payment type it is. Is it single or sub subscription? If it was a subscription, you would then be prompted with how often the recurring charge should be, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. We're going to stick with single. And then you also have the option, is it going to be a physical product or a digital product? If you choose digital, it gives you this digital tab where you have the ability to add a digital download like you saw with the ebook. But for now, we're going to stick with a physical. So what you're going to do is you're going to then come to the upsells tab and it's going to give you your purchase URL link and your skip purchase URL link. This is the first step in our funnel so we can kind of ignore the skip purchase because they're not going to have that option. They're only going to have the option to purchase it since it's our first step in the funnel. So what you do is you copy this link, go into your page and wherever you have your buy now button, add to cart button, enroll now button, whatever it is to prompt them to take them to the checkout page, you would simply add that link to that button or text or whatever it is. So I'm going to click on the enroll now button and right here on this button link, I'm going to paste that. You're going to save your work and that's all set. So everywhere you have the enroll button or your buy now button, whatever action that takes them to the next step, that is where you would add the hyperlink. The next step is you come back into that product and you're going to say, where do you want them to go? Where should the customer go if they purchase this product? And then the skip purchase URL. Where should this customer go if they skip the purchase? So again, they're not able to skip it since this is our first product. This is the main sales page. So all we care about right now for this one is where should the customer go when they per if they purchase this product? So that's where we would then come to our pages and take the upsell page, which is where they're going to go upsell one after they purchase the product, we want to display them with the upsell. So you simply can view that page, copy the hyperlink, and add that to the purchase redirect URL. Paste it right in here. So now the sales funnel knows, the plugin knows, hey, after they purchase our course, we want to send them to this upsell. So that's it. We hit update, and we have our first step in our sales funnel. So additionally, though, what you would like to do is you have a few uh, additions, a few extra things that you can do. You can choose a two-step checkout if you'd rather have a um, two-step checkout. You can, in you can put in place the order bump, which we have. So the order bump, you would simply enable it. You choose which product you want to the order bump to be. So we created the ebook product already. And then you have all these additional options to the colors, the text, the headlines, the checkbox label. You can even say, hey, I want the checkbox checked by default or if I don't want it checked off by default. So we decided to enable this order bump. So you just simply check it off. And then another option is your email marketing. So the upsell plugin integrates with Active Campaign, Convert Kit, Get Response, and MailChimp. So I have get response and I've enabled get response. I've added the API key in the settings and now I have the ability to add and see all my get response lists. So what's really nice about the upsell plugin is you can have the ability to add a person to a specific list based off of the products that, that they purchase. So this will be very helpful and I'm going to show you a little later on in this video. This is ex extremely helpful because now you would have the ability to set up your proper automations. So you have the ability to send people specific emails based off of what list they're on and you even have the ability to send them abandoned cart email if they if you use a two-step checkout and they don't proceed with purchasing the product. So that's for our main course page. So I'm going to click update and that's all set. 
So now, since our main sales page is, is ready to go, we are now going to go into our upsell page. So here's our upsell page, and it's pretty much straightforward just like we did with the, the main course product. We're now going to create an upsell product. So if I go back into our upsell products, I'm going to go to our upsell that we created, or you would add a new product. And same thing, you give it a price, the payment type, the product type, and then you'd come into this upsells tab. So the purchase URL and the skip purchase URL. And then also, again, where should the person go if they decide to purchase this product or if they skip this product? So the purchase URL, we're going to copy that. We're going to go into our editor, our Thrive Architect. So if they click the yes button, they're going to want to purchase the product. So the same thing, you click on that button or the or the, if it's going to be text or whatever, whatever it is, you're going to click on that and you're going to add that URL. And now this time they do have the option because it's upsell not to purchase it. So we're going to go back into the product and now we're going to copy the skip purchase URL. Copy that. Go back into the page itself. Now we want to click on the no thank you button and add the text, add the link right there. Next, we're just going to want to grab what happens again. So if we look at the product, it's saying what happens, where should they go if they purchase the product and where should they go if they skip the purchase? So we have right now set up for this funnel. If they purchase the upsell, we want it to end. We want to send them to our order summary page. So we would simply put in our order summary URL here. And this could really be any URL you want. You would set it up inside of the settings if, to show the order summary page. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, and then what will happen if they skip the purchase? Well, this was our upsell. So if they skip it, we want to display them with the downsell. So you would simply come to your pages, view your downsell page, copy that URL and throw it into the skip purchase URL. So now your sales funnel flow is set up, but again, you can integrate it with email marketing, which I would suggest because now if they purchase the upsell, we want to add them to our specific upsell list. And I'll show you why that's important again soon with our email marketing automation. So that's all done. So we're going to update that. And then lastly, we have the downsell page. So we're going to edit this with Thrive Architect. We're going to come into our products. We're going to go to our downsell or of course if you had to add it, you click add new. And same thing, price, payment type, product type. And now we want to set up our URLs and paste in our URLs on where they what should happen if they purchase or if they don't. So again, purchase URL. Going to copy that going to go into our downsell page. Here's our, here it is in Thrive Architect. Here's our button. Click on our button. Add it to the button link. If they purchase it, this is where they go. If they skip the purchase, here's our text. So we're not using a button this time. Here's, a, here's our text. So we'd come up here to the link and we would simply paste the link in here, hit update. So now we have our two buttons set up, our two links set up if they if they add it to their order or if they decide not to add it to their order. And then again, we just need to tell the upsell plugin what happens after they do each. What happens, where should the customer go if they purchase the product? Well, this is our downsell. This is the end of our funnel for both. This is the end of our sales funnel for both if they order it or if they don't order it. So it's going to be the same thing. If they purchase it, we want to send them to the orders page. If they don't purchase it, same thing. We're ending the sales funnel, funnel. So we're sending them to the orders page. So let me show you real quick. And again, so also with the email marketing, we have enabled get response, the downsell. Hey, if they purchase this product, add them to the specific downsell list. And again, I'll show you why that's important in a minute. So real quick with the upsell plugin, I just want to show you the order summary and the checkout. Um, you go into settings and you have to tell the plugin the checkout page and the order summary page and then you simply have a short code. So here's the upsell checkout. It's a short code. So if I go into our pages, our checkout page, so the checkout page can be designed any way you'd like. You would simply then just throw in the short code 
to where you want the form to appear. So here we are inside of Thrive Architect. And as you can see, I created a page, a quick page I threw together, and then I added the short code. And to do that, you're simply just going to add a text box. So let me just show you again real quick so you guys can see. You come over here and click Add. You can scroll through and look, or you can type up here. I'm going to type in text. So here's our text block. I'm just going to throw it over here. And then you simply paste in the short code. And that's it. So now your checkout page is all set up. It's going to show it the form when you, the visitor clicks on your button to check out. And then it's the same thing with the order summary page. You can design the page, the layout, however you'd like, but you're simply going to add the specific short code. So for the order summary, you're going to have a upsell orders short code. And it's the same exact thing. You can just add a text box or add whatever you like. But as long as you throw in the short code somewhere inside of this text box, it's going to show the order summary. So that's how you set up the sales funnel. Um, hopefully you saw how easily and quickly you can do this. Um, you just simply create all the pages, the, the layouts using Thrive Architect as you would like them to be. And then you set up the sales funnel flow inside of the upsell plugin and you have a working sales funnel. So let me just show you, I wanted to show you real quick how the email marketing would work, how you should have it set up. So like I said, we're using GetResponse. Now GetResponse is great because it's relatively cheap. It's only $15 a month, I believe it is, for, the, for, for up to a thousand contacts and you can send an unlimited amount of emails. But what's great about this is you also, with that low of a plan, you have the ability to create your automation. So why that's really important is because if you click on here the menu button in the top left and you come down to automation you now have the ability to set up automations and what we're going to want to set up we're going to say hey if somebody purchases our upsell we would want to remove them from our main course list potentially because we don't want to send them any more emails about the upsell in the future because they've already purchased that and same thing with the downsell so you have the automation to unsubscribe people depending on what list they're on. And to do that, it's super simple. You would click Create Workflow. And they give you a bunch of templates, but I'm going to build one from scratch. Click Start Now. And you click on what you want to start with. So we're going to stick start with Subscribes. So you click that. It just throws it in right here. You click on it and it opens up over here. So we're going to say select a list. Any list or specific list? We want a specific list. We're going to say if they subscribe to our Thrive Upsell list. So we want to add another element and that's we want to remove the contact. So we click on remove contact here, drag it over, and now it says remove from list. So we click on that and we say where, where to remove contact from? A li lists, auto assigner cycle, entire account, current list, workflow. We just want to work with a list. Which list? Okay, well, if they purchased our upsell, we would then want to remove them from our product. So we'll go ahead and click product. And now you simply just click this little check mark and drag it down here. So now what happens is when they subscribe to our upsell, when they purchased our upsell, they're automatically going to be subscribed through the upsell plugin to our upsell list. And we want to remove them from our original list because we don't want to target them with any more upsell emails. The people who didn't purchase the upsell, we might want to target them with that product again to try to generate more sales. But if they already purchased it, we don't want to hit them with those autoresponders. So we want to remove them from the list. So you're then going to just click this little gear icon, I suggest. Give it a name. So we can call it remove or let's call it purchased upsell. Click OK and click Save and Publish. So now you have your upsell automation already in place. So I also want to show you real quickly how you can send out a cart abandonment email using upsell plugin integrated with GetResponse. So with the upsell plugin, you also have the ability to set up a two step checkout. So if we go into our main course product, you have the short codes. One of the short codes is a two-step checkout short code. So you would simply copy that, URL, that short code for the specific product 
And then here, the two-step checkout, you have the opportunity to integrate it with your email marketing service, whatever list you want to add them to when they fill out the form. So we're adding it to our two-step checkout list on GetResponse. So now if I go back to our pages, I just want to show you real quick what it looks like. If we view, I already have this set up, if we view our two-step checkout page, instead of it being just a button, you can now, in, in place, you would be able to put a name and email address. And something cool with that as well, let me show you real quick. When the person would fill in their name, and hit submit, it takes them to the checkout page to purchase that product, but at the same time, it will automatically pull in their first name, last name, and email address based off of what they put in the field before that. So what you can now do, because once they enter the two-step checkout, let's say, hey, they entered this page, they came here, but they decided for whatever reason, ah, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to purchase the product, let me leave. So what you're going to want to do inside of Get Response now to send out, to set up your card abandonment email, is you're going to go into the autoresponders. We're going to set, we, what I would suggest is you set up an autoresponder for the two-step out, two-step checkout list. So you click create autoresponder. But what you would do is you would create your autoresponder. So it's cart abandonment. You would what list it would be for. So we're doing it for our two-step checkout. But instead of send message at the same time, what I would say is you would do with the delay of. And you can set it for one hour. So what happens is after they sign up for, after they enter in their information for the two-step checkout, they would be sent out an email one hour later. But we don't want to send that to anybody that actually proceeded and purchased the product. We only want to send it to people who didn't purchase the product. So what you would do is now you'd come back into the automation. So we're going to go back. We're going to go into our automation. We're going to create a new workflow. Start from scratch. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick subscribes. So again, click on right here. It's going to open this up. So what happens if they subscribe to a specific list? Which list? Now we want to say if they subscribe to our main course list because we have that set up inside of the upsell plugin where when they purchase the course, the main product, they are going to be added to this list. And then we want to click remove contact drag it over what happens we want the person to be removed from a specific list we want them to be removed from the two step out the two step checkout list whenever they are subscribed to the main product list so what will happen is if they proceed with purchasing the product they're going to be added to our main product list so that's going to say hey remove them from the two step checkout list so if they are removed from the two-step checkout list they're not going to receive that automated email that would go out one hour later it's only now going to go out to the people that aren't purchasing the product because they're not being added to that main product list so that is the reason why adding the products to specific lists depending on what they purchase is going to be super important because then you have the ability to send super laser targeted emails depending on what products they're purchasing from you so hopefully that was helpful hopefully that made sense hopefully you now can see how you can quickly and easily build a sales funnel in thrive architect using thrive architect the upsell plugin get response i suggest for your email marketing and you would integrate it with stripe for the payment processing but if you have any questions, if you have any comments about this video, I'd love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments below. And any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Thanks.